Happy Friday, everyone. It's Tammy with Lufer Fur Studio, and thanks for coming back to join me today. I am going to be working on the 50 Stack Challenge number four, which is hosted by Amy at Crafty Cat. Um, she pulls two prompts out of her little paper bag every Monday, and you're to make two pieces of ephemera using each of the prompts. Um, she does have a playlist on her channel, so I encourage you to check that out if you want to participate in this challenge. Or, if you just want to see what everyone else is doing, you can search the hashtag 50stackchallenge4 um, on YouTube or on Instagram, and you can see everyone's makes. So, uh, this week... She chose, um, out or picked out of the bag, winter and sewing. So, I'm going to do a couple pieces of ephemera for those. I'm going to start with the winter. And, um, I found this image, which was a advertising card that I had for a stove. And I just ran a photocopy of it um, on a piece of cardstock because I wanted to keep the original. Um, and also, the original is quite damaged. It has a real weak spot in the middle. So, I was afraid to use the original piece to create this. So, I'm going to trim it up a little bit. And um, I'm going to use it as a journal card in this little seed packet um, that I've had forever. Uh, I'm sure most of you will remember when they were popular and everyone was trying to find them. They were in the dollar spot section of Target. And I still have a couple of those left, so I'm going to use one of those today because this card uh, fits down in there perfectly to show through the window. And also, um, the grays that are in the back of this card go really well with the gray of the little uh, envelope. So, that is going to go inside as the journaling card and then I'm going to I went through my little scraps of paper and found see it fits when you put it in here it fits quite nicely right down in there to show through the window sorry sidetrack um I went through my little paper scraps and I got um, paper scraps that I felt like would coordinate with the colors here. And, um, I'm just going to kind of do a collage around the outside here. So, um, let's get started doing that. I don't know exactly. I need a bigger piece to go across the top. So maybe we'll use this one. I could use the music, but it would be sideways, which I don't really mind that either. I think I'll use the music. And I'm just going to kind of tear these off because I don't care if it has rough edges on it. I'm going to end up trimming it at the end anyway, around the outside. So I hope everyone is having a good Friday. It's going to be a beautiful day here. Everything is oops, starting to bloom outside. So it's really nice. The bread buds are blooming and the bread repairs. And my flocks are all bloomed out. And, uh, hopefully, we're coming to the end of winter. Although they say that there is a frost warning, or they're predicting a frost warning for 
some areas at the beginning of, actually toward the middle, I think of next week. And then hopefully after that, that'll be it. I'm ready for it to be springtime all the way around and not I'm wanting to plant some flowers, but I have to be sure that it's not gonna frost anymore before that happens. You never know. Let me use the straight edge. I think I'm gonna put that one there. Yeah, I'm not. Much into doing winter, but that's the prompt. So we're going to do it and we're going to stick it away until next winter. Although, since I'm using a kind of vintage advertising piece, it wouldn't necessarily have to be a winter journal for this to be used in, I could use it in several different kinds of journals, I think. But it also could be a last year bra. You know, we could celebrate it, right? That one's too clashy. Too clashy. Maybe this one. Hmm. I want something in that red. Maybe this one. So let's do this one. This is part of a calendar, it looks like, that had some pretty print on one side, like a planner. Probably don't want to get that on the flap. Let's spin the flap over so I can tell where to cut it. And I think the way that I would use this in a journal is as a flip out, you know, so, so it does this thing. So I think that's why I'm, why I'm gonna cut this edge instead of wrapping it so my little flap remains pretty flappable. <laughs> Is that a word? Flappable. For some reason, I'm liking the stripe. I think I'm going to put that stripe across the bottom. But on the back side, I think I'm just going to put something that can be written on.
And then I have this. <laughs> I didn't even pick that up. I have this uh, little number here. This is Tracy Fox, and it's something like Grungy Numbers or something like that. Um, is the name of the kit that this is from. that up at the top just to kind of break up that big piece up there a little bit. Not upside down. Ups the right way up would be good. I miss the corner. All right, and then let's put something on the flap, but leave just a little bit of a gap so my flap works correctly. Do I need to do that? No, because if I glue it down, this side of the flap is going to show but not that side. All right, so let's find a piece of something that we can ride on. Like a little scrap of coffee dyed or something. This is wide enough to ride on. Thus it gives a little bit of decoration. I don't want to turn it that way though because the seam's going to be in the way. try attempt to not that way you don't So I have ripped corners on all four sides. This paper's a little bit stronger, so. Sometimes it's a little harder to tear. We'll eat the real nose edges. And glue that up. Ooh. I like that side. I think it's a little dark to write on. So we'll do we'll do the original original thought.
even straight. There we go. Now we got a little bit of writing space there. So now we can put our card in here. You can write on the back of the card as well. There we go. It's pretty simple. And uh, I'm gonna leave it like that, I think. And then um, when it goes to um, when I go to put it in a journal, then we can determine whether I want to add, you know, something else to it. But then, like I said, you would glue it here or even around the page. And, um, if you did it around a page, oops, I'm not going to little, let me tear this off so it doesn't stick to it. So if I did it around a page like this, you could make this a tuck on the other side and put some kind of decorative paper or washi and have you have yourself a little tuck right there, which is probably what I do. And then on this side, you know, it would flip up and you could get to that card. And I'd probably put a little thumb notch in there so you could reach that card better and you'd have a writing spot here so that's that one so now let's move on to the sewing and for the sewing i have this little girl and i have some um little lace pieces and some faux buttons. These are just made out of embossed paper. And uh, I have these two digital papers or digital tags that are from um, Junk Journal Studio. And they're from, um, oddly enough, the kit is called um, winter collage mega pack because i went to try to find something to do for winter and came across these these are all these pieces are in that set this one's an advertisement for pattern design and this one's an advertisement for spool cotton so i was like okay i'm gonna use these for the sewing and find something else for winter so that's what i ended up doing so I'm going to glue these two pieces back to back and make a tag and then um, embellish the front of the tag with the other pieces. And I'm just going to make a just regular old tag. I don't have a lot of sewing stuff left because I just did a sewing um, journal. where I used, I mean, I still have some original ephemera, but I was trying to find something that I had not done. So it was a little bit different, so. I came across these and I thought, okay, this will work. So I'm just going to glue that on there. And like I said, she has these on there as journaling cards or tags. They're just rectangles, just like this. And she has several that are in that kit. That's a really big and really nice kit. Um, it has lots of pieces to it. Uh, and uh, I used it in my winter journal that I did colors are really nice. They're these blues and kind of icy greens and teals and really soft. 
nice colors. What I'm doing now is just trimming out any places that, you know, where I cut the two pieces out separately, um, where they didn't, they're not the same size. Just to kind of even it up. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to ink around it. And I'll, I'll probably end up stitching around it too. But I'll do that after the video so I don't have to stop the video and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, just kind of go around the outside with a stitch. Alright, I'm going to get my corner chomper. And poke a hole. Sorry for my reach there. Try to get it in the middle. And put a hole reinforcer on there. I think I've got some that are kind of a blackish gray color that will look nice. So there is that and I'm going to take my little make it brush thing here and go right down in that hole and kind of take that white looking showing around there we go that one's still alright then I'm going to ink around the whole tag Now you could make this thicker if you wanted. This is just two two pieces of paper in I think this paper is about twenty four pound paper. Um so it is a little stiffer than it would be for just, you know, regular standard copy paper, but it's not cardstock thick. But it's plenty stiff enough for a tag. Okay, so there is that. Now we'll sink around her while I got while I'm inking. Now 
And again, I fussy cut her out of my German book that I have of magazines. It's like all these magazines, old magazines that are um, kind of newspaper weight that are sewn into a hardback cover. And uh, I backed her with some regular book page just to make her a little more sturdy. behind her head and one of these down here at her feet so let's do that And the thread one. Sticking to my paper while I'm trying to move it. this I think I'm gonna put this across the bottom and again I'm just gonna put this down with glue stick right now because I will sew around it Might just put that through there, and then just use one of the buttons. I think that's what I do. What I'll do so. I am going to stop you for a minute and go so back and I will come back so we can put the topper on there and I was just looking I wanted to put this on here so that it was obviously a flip 
gut. I want to put it there. Or do I want to put it up here? Or do I want to put it down here? I could even put it on the bottom. It doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to put it on the bottom. Okay, so let me go sew around this and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I just did a straight stitch all the way around. So now I'm going to put this through here and use this as the little topper. Won't be much of one, but that's okay. We don't need a whole lot. If I can get that flipped around the right way. There we go. It's always the little things that drive you crazy, isn't it? All right, then I'm gonna use my tiny attacher and just staple that on there. You could also use like a little, one of the little mini pins, safety pins would be cute. And then I'm going to glue the button on like that. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for that. And again, this is a paper button. It's a faux button. It's not a real one. It's just I embossed some white cardstock. And then... Um, cut some circles out and I think these are about three layers of paper stacked on top of each other and then poke some holes in it with my little bitty hole punch Okay, and I'm going to leave that white. I like the white with the white lace. I think it goes, it's appropriate for this card. And I could put the other one down here. Just 
still want to do that? Nope. All right, so there we go. So this is winter. It's got our little flip up that when you mount it, you know, you can flip it up. Let's go ahead and put a little notch in here. I don't want a big one. Let's see if I can get my... circle punch in there. It should be thick enough and dry enough now to put a little notch. There we go. So now we can get in there and get our little card a little better. What's it hanging on? What are you hanging on in there? Nothing. Nothing toward to hang on. Why are you not going to the bottom? There we go. All right. So there is that. And here is our little sewing tag. And I hope you guys like that. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you do like it, if you would give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, um, do so, and if you want to be notified of any new videos that I have, you can hit that little bell, and, uh, YouTube will, um, notify you that I have new content, and, um, you know, if you could leave a comment, even if it's, you know, just a, a hi, how are you? Or you talk to each other. It doesn't matter. Um, just any kind of interaction helps uh, us YouTubers um, show up in the algorithms for um, videos to watch. So... Um, it doesn't cost you a thing, and it helps us out a lot. So, um, anything like that will be appreciated. And you are appreciated by me every single day. Um, I'm still in awe that people even, <laughs> even tune in to watch what I love to do every day. So, um, you know, I appreciate it very much. So, I will not be doing a video this weekend because of course it's Easter weekend and I hope all of you all have a great weekend and a great holiday and I will see you back on Tuesday for um color combo 2024 until then everybody stay safe and enjoy your family and I'll see you on Tuesday bye